Learner's Geometrical Construction Activity 3 allows us to look at drawings more seriously. Uh, it becomes more intense. We have two scale drawings of one is to one on both sides of my page. And what needs to happen is you have been given a starting point which is the center line of your entire drawing in both instances. And you need to copy the given shape or figure to a scale of 1 is to 1 and the scale of 1 is to 1 basically means that you are going to use the exact measurements that are here and apply them to be able to complete the drawing and then all construction lines must be shown during the drawing so the whole build up you must be able to show not just the solid lines please pay carefully attention to how the drawing will be developed. The drawing has different parts. So I'm looking at the outside border that I have there with the round corners. I'm going to use that as my starting point, using that point here to measure off to my left and my right and top and bottom. And then I'm going to move to my circle on the inside where a hexagon will derive from and then of course the third component of my drawing will be these footings that we have here which is 45 degree on an angle let's have a look how this drawing develops into this perfect scale drawing of one is to one starting at that center point over there I hope you're going to enjoy
Then as we turn our attention now to the second one on the opposite side of the page, and there you have another machine component which also needs to be drawn to a scale of 1 is to 1 using that as your starting point, which is that midpoint over there. Pay carefully attention to the different dimensions. Use the faint lines first to be able to build the drawing to the shape that it's required. Similarly, I'm going to break this drawing up into different parts as how I'm going to unfold it. So if you look at this drawing, there is a base here which I'm going to start with and I'm going to measure down from the center point to be able to formulate my base. And then on top of that base, I'm going to draw these lines here on my outside. And you can clearly see that that is a half of a hexagon. So I'm going to construct that hexagon and then my third part is going to be my hexagon that's tilted on a point and finally I'm going to complete this drawing with the circle that I have there. You need to be able to understand the difference between radius and diameter. Radius is the distance between the point and the circumference of the circle which in this case should be half and then diameter is of course the distance between the circumference on the one side through the midpoint to the circumference on the other side. Let us see how this drawing unfolds into this scaled machine drawing in this space over here.